Hi everyone, I'm Laura with Mural Dreams and today I'm painting the moon. First I draw a circle on the canvas where I want my moon to be, then I start painting in the background, creating a gradient of light pink to dark blue, using white, quinacridone, magenta, dioxazine purple, phthalo blue and black. After I paint my moon white, I made a mixture of grey, a light and a dark, with white, black and quinacridone magenta. Then I will look at my reference photo and going a couple of times back and forth, I paint in the basic shapes that I see. Then adding some white to my light grey mixture, I start painting in the craters that live on the lighter parts. I paint the bigger ones first, then I add in the smaller ones. Then I darken my light grey mixture a little bit and paint in the shadows that are cast by the craters to give them some three-dimensionality. I go small at first and then I keep adding as I go, layer by layer. Then I lighten up my dark grey mixture and I start adding in the craters on the dark parts. These have fewer craters. It takes quite a few going back and forth to refine and add the shadows and highlights to the pockmarks and craters on the moon. Did you know that all of the dark parts are seas and most of the craters that are bigger and more significant they're all named. They have pretty cool names too. The Sea of Serenity, the Sea of Knowledge, the Sea of Clouds, the Sea of Moisture. Pretty cool. Most of the prominent craters also have names of scientists or explorers. Mm -hmm like Copernicus and Kepler, Eratosthenes, or Tycho, the biggest one. And that's it! That's how you paint the moon! I hope you learned something and you enjoyed my video! Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to always get my latest video! Until then, trust the flow!